Hi, I'm Larry Maggot of ConnectSafely.org, and this little video is about Facebook's new simplified privacy settings. That's right, they've added the front end to their privacy settings that does make it a lot easier to configure. But as you'll see in a few minutes, you still have the power to customize your own privacy settings if you want to take a more granular approach. One of the problems with Facebook's privacy settings were that they were just too complicated. They still give you lots of options if you want to get granular, but now you can set your basic settings on a single, more simplified page. Facebook has also reduced the information that users must make publicly available, and it's made it easier to control information given to applications. There's even a simple way to opt out of all applications. Let's start out with Facebook's new Simplified Privacy Settings page. From any Facebook page, go to Account, and then select Privacy Settings. And that takes you to your page. Now, if you'd already configured some of your privacy settings, it might be set on Custom, and you can leave it just the way you set it. Or you can go to one of Facebook's four options. There's Everyone, which is the most inclusive, and I don't recommend that. That makes your information available to everyone on the Internet, not just everybody on Facebook. There's Friends of Friends, which means your friends and their friends. And then there's Friends Only, which is the most restrictive of the ones that they offer you as, a, as an option. Recommended as kind of a blend between everyone, Friends of Friends, and Friends Only. And it's not a bad compromise. And Custom gives you the ability to customize in a very granular way. And we'll get to that later. While you're in Privacy Settings, take a look at the basic directory information. This is the information that Facebook makes available about you to the real world. It's pretty open, but you can restrict it. Start by clicking on View Settings. Notice, for example, Search for Me on Facebook is available to everyone, which could be a good thing because it makes you findable by your friends, perhaps old schoolmates. But you can restrict that, for example, to Friends of Friends and Friends Only. The same is true with all your other settings. Go ahead and take a look at the options and make sure that everything is to your liking. Facebook's new simplified privacy controls do make it easier, but you also have the power to customize your privacy settings, and this gives you a lot more power over who can see what. Kind of like that famous hamburger chain, you can have it your way. Before I get into some of the other privacy settings, I want to talk a little bit about instant personalization. This is where Facebook works with some of its partner sites, and right now there are only a few, that allows them to access information and content that you've made available to everyone. So they're not extracting private personal information, but information that you've already decided to share with the public. But now it's kind of integrated with other sites. So for example, if you've linked Facebook to your Yelp account, you can share with your Facebook friends and others what restaurants you like. The same might be true with your music tastes on Pandora. Now whether that's a good thing or a bad thing depends on what you want to reveal to the public. But the good news is that there's a way to turn it off. You can get to the instant personalization controls at the bottom of your privacy settings screen by looking where you see applications and websites and then clicking on edit your settings. There's a bunch of options here, but just scroll down to where you see instant personalization and click edit settings. You can then read about all the reasons why Facebook thinks it's a good thing, but at the bottom you'll see where it says enable instant personalization on partner websites. Uncheck it. Confirm, and it's history. As I mentioned earlier, you have a lot more granular control than simply the defaults or the options that Facebook gives you. You can always click on Customize Settings, and when you do that, you can then go to every one of these options and decide who you want to let see it. For example, Post by Me. If it's set for everyone, you could change it to Friends of Friends or Friends Only, or perhaps even Customize. Customize gives you even more control, and we'll get to that in a minute. The same is true with family, your relationships, who you're interested in, your biography, website, religious and political views. So make changes if you want. There's no reason why you have to stick with what Facebook gives you. You have a lot of control. So now I'm going to get even more granular, but don't get scared away. It's not that complicated. Let's say I want even more control over who can see my relationships. I go in here and I select Customize, and this time I go to specific people. And I can start typing in names. For example, Alex Christopherson, Chris Kelly, you name it. And I can even type in names of people who I want to hide it from. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have anybody I want to hide this from. And that's it. Save the settings and you've changed who can see what. If you've installed any applications on Facebook, you can review them and you can delete any ones you don't want. 
You do that under the Applications and Websites section at the bottom of your Privacy Settings page. Click on Edit Your Settings and you'll see the applications that are installed. For example, I have 39. I can click Remove Unwanted Applications and then I'll see a list of them. So for example, let's say I decide to get rid of Safety Web. Nothing wrong with it, but I don't want it at the moment. I click on that, I remove Selected, and it's gone. Now there's another more powerful but in some sense more dangerous option called Turn Off All Platform Applications. If you click on this and you do Select All, you will eliminate all of your applications. But think about this before you do it. If you've invested any money in an application or you've earned a certain level in a game and you turn them all off, they're all gone. So I recommend you probably not do this, but if you are going to do it, give some thought before you click Turn Off Platform. There are several other application settings that you ought to look at. So again, going back into Edit Your Settings under Applications and Websites, look at Game and Application Settings, who can see your recent activity on their games and application dashboards, and again, you control that like everything else. The information that's accessible through your friends uh, applications. Control what information is available to applications and websites when your friends use them. And that's very important because you might want to limit that and you can using this screen. So you get rid of your bio, your birthday, any other information you want to get rid of. Very powerful. We already talked about instant personalization and of course public search. Show a preview of your Facebook profile when people look for you using a search engine and you can control that. Uh, you can go uh, to enable public search which is a default, or you can click this right here and you've disabled it. Confirm and you're no longer accessible via search engines. When it comes to privacy, one of the most useful features is the ability to create lists of friends. For example, you could create a list of your fraternity buddies and share certain information with them, or perhaps another list of people you go to church with and they might get an entirely different set of information. To create a list, you first go to your home page and then you click on the word Friends. Then click on Create a List. Give the list a name and then select the people that you want to be on it. Click Create a List down here and you're all set. Now you have the option of making information available just to people on a certain list. So this time you would go into Customize and when it says Specific People, you would type in the list name. And that way, only those people would get that information. Facebook has decided that there are certain things that are always public, but not as much as used to be the case. Your name does have to be public. Your profile picture has to be public too, but you don't have to have a profile picture if you don't want one. You do have to disclose your gender and any networks you belong to, but you don't have to belong to any networks. You no longer have to disclose the pages that you like. And friends is kind of a special case. You can choose not to display your friends list on your page, but being a friend is a two-way street, and your friends have a choice as to whether to display their friends on their page. So if you're someone's friend, they can display it. And also your friends list can be made available to applications that you put on your page. So if you really don't want anybody to know that someone's your friend, don't friend them. So now we have the basics on how to control who has access to certain types of information. But you can also control who has access to specific information, such as status updates, posts, photographs, videos, or just about anything else that you might post on Facebook. For example, let's say John invited me to a party, but I only want certain people to know about it and not others. I could do a status update, going to a party at John's house, and I could share that with specific people. For example, I could go to Customized and type in the particular groups of people that I might want that to go to. That way, the people that didn't get invited might not have their feelings hurt. And this works with video, pictures, or any other type of content. For example, I typed in a status update saying, here's me with my new banjo, and I want to attach a photo. So I upload the photo from my hard drive, and there it is. And in this case, I can share it just with friends. We've covered some basics, but there's a lot more to explore. So go to the bottom of any Facebook page and click on the word Privacy. That brings you to Facebook's Privacy Guide, where you can find the latest information from the company, including information on any privacy updates. But remember, anything that's digital 
can be copied, stored, or forwarded anytime in the future. So even if you trust your friends, there's always the possibility that one of your friends could become an ex-friend. So if anything is top secret, you might not want to share it with anyone, because it might someday be found by your grandmother, a future boss, a future love interest, or who knows, you might want to run for president someday. I'm Larry Magid of ConnectSafely.org, where every day we have information on Internet safety, security, and privacy for kids, teens, and sometimes adults. Please join us online at www.connectsafely.org.